Hello everybody and welcome back to Stasis. Now when we left off we were in this rather hor a horrific in there. looking place. It's alive. I'm guessing that's the guy whose logs we've been reading. Uh, destroyed crosswalk, construction light. Not turn it on. Yeah. Feeling it. Push it into the colony vat and fry everything in there. I thought that was too easy. Mm, yeah, I guess it is too easy. Um, what have we got? Crowbar. Can we push it now? Nope. Uh. These don't go well together. Hooray! There it goes. Oh, no, not quite. Let's try that. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, now let's see what I can do. Yeah, let's see what I can do. Nope, still not it. Look at the exposed wires. Hey, turn off. No, um, nylon emergency tape. That won't conduct electricity, will it? Or maybe we can smash the light. Break. Well, yeah, that was kind of the point. Uh, anything else I can click on, is there? No, don't, don't, don't do that. Can't touch it at all. Nope. Nope. I really thought I was probably assisting construction work. No. Crazy. Uh, I think that'll just break it. I don't think that'll work. Um... Maybe I wasn't supposed to have done that. It seemed like the thing to do though, you know, you hook it up, you turn it on. Ew. I'm thinking no. On every possible friggin' level. Maybe I missed something. Let's try back in the other room. Don't really want to hang around here longer than I have to. Ooh, two box. How did I miss that? Oh, shit. Where the hell am I gonna find the key in this mess? Who needs a key when you have a crowbar? <sighs> no, this ain't working. Nope. Okay, try the drill. This isn't gonna work. Really? You're kidding me, right? Okay, I guess we'll try to find a key then. Debris. More de debris. So much debris everywhere. Um, hmm. 
crash tram, debris. I don't see any keys anywhere. Oh, wait, hang on. Wouldn't he have the key on him? His dead body would have the key on it, wouldn't it? Um, maybe... No, crazy. Yeah, look, you can see something shining there. This should be useful. Aha! See, I can solve puzzles. Let's see what we got in here then. Jumper cable. That's a start. No. Um. This goes on here. Yes, yes it does. And and this goes over here. Yeah. There we go, and then we'll fry their asses. Are you on or not? Because I feel like I should make absolutely damn sure this thing is not on before I cross this water or whatever the hell it is. Well, that was delightful. Ooh, that was also very successful. Tia, yeah, can you hear me? I'm working on getting out of here. I can see a light far above me. I think it's a way out. Uh, this is a computer across there. I don't think we can get to that. Oh, no, we can. Okay, uh, we got that. Oh, hang on, there's a ladder up there. No? Throne, bat 11, bat 12, and bat 13. Let's start at 11 then, I guess. Woo! Standard growth enhancement agents, complete human crones, intended for immediate testing. Yay! More reading! What's that say? Mary had a little lamb, its face was black as coal. When <laughs> Mary went to bed one night, it ate her fucking soul. <laughs> Oh, I'm remembering that. Uh, okay, what we got? Four one 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 five two A. Sexes appears to have bone and tendon structure prior to vital organs, but following nervous system development. Is that good or bad? Um, growth of muscle has begun to progress. One specimen 
ceased to grow and was confirmed dead. Upon autopsy, three extra vertebrae were discovered, as well as two ribs. However, only a few teeth were found deep within the mandible. Clearly, cloning is not an exact science, even this far in the future. Growth of all specimens is accelerated. Uh, any given clone measures just under seven foot. It possesses the auxiliary ribs and vertebrae observed in the failed subject. All vital organs are present, appear to be performing normally, despite the normal rib and spinal the and empty clothes seem to be perfectly functional and fully matured. One, however, was rendered blind as a result of improper sphenoid development. Whatever that is. Wow, they still have those hello my name is badges? That's just bad. Um, standard growth enhancement to 150% concentration plus additional growth hormones obtained from Project Seed. Incomplete human clones intended for harvest of pulmonary and coronary tissue. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. All this yawning is making me tired. All this yawning is making me tired. All this talking is making me tired. Well, of course, yawning makes you tired. Or, well, more accurately, yawning is a result of being tired, but that's beside the freaking point. <sighs> Where was I? Uh, products developing at 800% acceleration from the selected control group. However, several anomalies have occurred. In the example, uh, tissue mash has developed a tail of sorts. It circles a vat using the aforementioned tail to propel itself. Mass with tail appendage has been assigned the name Samantha, despite the previous belief that the circling behavior was a product of incident. It is now clear that it has been surveying the fat's electronic system and searching for vulnerabilities. What is this thing, a fucking raptor? Samantha has been extracted and moved to security for temporary storage. She's asked for will be removed, damaged equipment, and other specimens. Am I going to have to be dealing with this Samantha thing at some point? Growth age nutrition with additional amino acid, 300% concentration, enhanced human clones intended for immediate research. Just being able to move about the vat immediately during embryonic phase. Ew. <sighs> All subjects developing at nearly 500% acceleration. Effects of growth agent concentration on subject development ruled parabolic rather than linear. Uh, multiple subjects have been com combined to form larger mass of anthropoid limbs and organs, its surface, and then was ruled deceased. It appeared to be composed of approximately two human -like, 12 human-like bodies, all roughly infant size. Batch has been active for six, 96 hours. Development of the subjects remains regular. Ew. Okay, so we need to let's try that. Hey, <laughs> wow, man, you're a good shot. Come on, climb. Oh. That's the crowbar. Well, but I can 100% agree with you on that. This place looks creepy as fuck. I'm always expecting something to jump out. Didn't see anything? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, was that necessary? I boarded up tram for some reason. Not a great, why would someone bother to do gra graffiti in this place? I mean, this is clearly not a recreational location. Tram 
Don't bring the fucking ghosts. Okay? We've already got the security holograms. It's more than enough. We don't need ghosts. Where are we? The tower. Oh, thank you. Clearly. We done? Can we go now? Whoa! Big fucking door. The tower. Well, that's convenient. Are they on the ship? Have they been rescued? It only means that PDPs haven't been activated. But I still have an idea that might just work. Oh, good. An idea. That's nice. Is it a cunning plan? From the crew quarters, you should be close to an infirmary where the DNA sequencer. If you could get your blood into the sequencer, I can scan the ship for three or DNA, and then we can find your daughter. Then we can use her DNA to find Ellen. Exactly. Notice reserve power facilities are online. Back Yay. systems are now enabled and functioning at benchmark levels. Does everything have to run at benchmark levels? Um, security. Let's check the security office first. <coughs> Okay. Okay, this has a very Dead Space vibe feel to it. You got the door in on that side, you got the security window bit, and you got the machine down here. This is very Dead Space. He got his wrists. Really? I don't have time to read that. In fact, you know what? Because obviously I'm going to have a lot of reading next episode, I'm going to cut this episode a couple of minutes early. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this so far. This is actually really interesting. I'm kind of enjoying myself. It's got a sort of alien slash dead space kind of vibe to it. So, uh, yeah, I'm having good fun. So I hope you're enjoying it too. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.